the pineal organ of the diencephalon is a characteristic of all vertebrate brains. It is typically a single uh, bulbous structure, which can easily be identified by uh, being located between the tectum or superior colliculi of the midbrain and the cerebrum, um, but it does vary. It can be associated with a, uh, another uh, parietal eye with a, even a simple lens-like structure and be together associated in this pineal um, complex. Um, but in some fish and amphibians, there can be parapineal structures as well. Uh, the pineal structure may be paired. Uh, so for simplicity's sake, I'll refer to a simple pineal organ, um, but it can be more complex and have associated structures in lower vertebrates. In lower vertebrates, the pineal gland not only produces melatonin, but also perceives light. And the light which is perceived by the pineal gland is then the external signal uh, which regulates the release of melatonin by the pineal gland. And so thus it is on the dorsal surface of the diencephalon where it can perceive light. And once the first osteichthyans developed parietal bones, there was an opening between the two uh, parietal uh, bones known as the pineal foramen. This opening allowed light through the skin of the epidermis of the scalp, uh, which then went through uh, the pineal foramen and then gave the pineal organ um, information about whether it was day or night and the length of the day. This pineal foramen is present in the skull roof of the first osteichthyan fish, but then throughout uh, the early osteichthyan fish and present in many today. It was present in the sarcopterygian fish, which were the ancestors of tetrapods. It was present in the first amphibians. It was present in the first reptiles, and in many reptiles today, such as lizards and the tuatara. It was present in the earliest synapsid reptiles and even through the group uh, the therapsids. It was in the cynodont reptiles, the direct ancestors of mammals, that the pineal foramen was lost. Mammals today still retain a pineal gland in the diencephalon of their brain on its dorsal surface, including humans, um, but it is no longer under a pineal foramen, and the expansion of the cerebrum has covered it, so it was no longer capable of perceiving light. Um, however, it does still produce melatonin um, triggered by light, but now the light stimuli come from the eyes to the hypothalamus, which then relays the information to the superior cervical ganglion, which then regulates, uh, or then uh, signals the pineal gland. So the pineal gland still does release melatonin um, in response to the light-dark cycle, but it is no longer directly perceiving this light, um, but being relayed light from the eyes through the hypothalamus.